I went to Calcutta, India um, the summer after my freshman year and I worked at a place called Shanti Don. It was the home for the intellectually disabled um, adolescent women. So I worked there and worked very closely with those women. I first started through my first theology class. I went to the Union Mission House. It's a halfway house for recovering alcoholics and addicts, um, and it has a Catholic mission to it. Um, it's strictly for men, so it was just a group of us men that went over, and basically we would go, we would do local chores, we would uh, kind of just sit around and do fellowship with the, the, you know, all the different guys there, and then we would uh, do Bible study and eat with them. We had a whole host of different things we could do. So in the mornings, you do the laundry for everyone, um, for the, the girls that lived there. And then mainly we taught classes. So I specifically worked with intellectually disabled students who also had um, vision impairments. So all but four of my students were in wheelchairs as well. So they also had a lot of physical impairments. We worked on motor skills and sensory work with them. Um, there were other sections where you taught m math skills um, and just had a lot of fun, art skills, even some English in some cases. So with the service, you go out there and you, you kind of take all the different aspects and theories we learn about through theology and you see them put into play. It's, it's the service is theology's lab, it's, it's your practical. It's a way to get out there and see what you're learning in the classroom. It's hands-on uh, you know, experience. So that you see everything that you've gone over with the professors is in real life, it actually is happening and uh, they do a really good job here at making that reference in the classroom and outside of the classroom to make sure you understand that um, it's not just you going and getting outside of your comfort zone to help somebody, but you're doing the will of God, you're doing the will of, of, of every man that we're supposed to, every man and woman here on earth, what we're supposed to do. I really noticed the fact that like every learner is different. That's something that they stress in our education courses. Every single person learns a different way and every person brings different experiences and has different abilities and it's not, they're not necessarily bad things but we need to, educators need to adjust to that in the classroom to really give your students the best opportunity possible. And so I think that was the main thing that I took from India. I was able to like relate to students better now so that I'm able to adjust my teaching a little more and not change their differences but emphasize them in a way that shows their strengths. There's no greater gift in the world than service. Um, too many times have I driven people to do their service sites or come with them where they have been so upset they don't want to do it, they're, they're very angry, they have to try and you know go and waste their time and they come out of there and they cannot stop talking about it, it made their day, it made their week, they'll start going more than once a week. I mean you can see it's, it's obvious how much of an impact that service has on everyone's life here and so that's why I would say just go for it. It truly has changed my life. It's made me the person I am today. Without service and service learning here at St. Vincent, I, I wouldn't be the person I am today or have had any of the opportunities I've had.